boy. <laughs> oh boy. Hello friends, my name is Rubywire and welcome to Big Titty Goth Girlfriend. A tale of romance. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god. Oh, it's a is it a graphic novel? Or a visual novel? Oh. Okay. I don't that'll make it easier to censor <laughs> if I need to censor stuff. Okay. I'll give him Oh, my microphone does not reach as far as it used to. Okay. That's gonna that's inconvenient. Okay, that's inconvenient. But we'll make it work. So I did it. I got a girlfriend. The hottest of all the girlfriends. My friends are going to be so jelly. The only problem is she's a little bit clingy. And maybe a little bit dem- Oh! Uh, 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 pick it up! Babe. Okay. The girl likes you a little bit more. Oh, good! Oh. Hey, baby. I was just thinking about you. And in her monologuing about you. Aw, how sweet. Oh, there's voice acting! Oh, let's go, hey. You consume my every waking thought, too. Oh, my vitality went down. Oh, uh, I'm flattered. Of course, I feel the same. Except when I'm thinking of food and stuff, that's not you. Well, you need to think of me more. I... That's reasonable. <laughs> you have a reason for calling? Not really. I just wanted to hear your voice. <gasps> oh, mama. I'm gonna move the mic back so I can, I can, <laughs> better. I think the, okay, yeah, we're good. However, while I've got you here. Yeah? Well, you know how I love you so much, right? How long have we been together? Hold on. Save. Uh, please build my fragile ego. Oh, I mean, I didn't think you'd love me that much. Of course I do, silly boo. <laughs> You're so pretty. I love oh. all your parts. Your hands, your feet, your aorta. Hey, yo! Feet are gross. We don't kink shame here at Ruby Wire Incorporated except for feet. Um. Anyway. To show me that you love me too, I'd really love you to give me something. What do you need? Anything. Anything for it you, baby. I feel really close to you. If you could give me. Yeah? A lock of your hair? Huh? <laughs> well? Oh, I was supposed to respond? Of course. It's all rather romantic, isn't it? It is? Of course it is. Don't you want to be close to me? Oh, shit, she pissed. Yeah, of course I do. Okay, baby, I need to get back to work. Oh, do you really? Yeah, I don't want to get fired. But I miss you. Please, don't make me miss you more. I can hear her pout through the phone. Okay, I guess I can talk to you a little longer. Yay! Okay, she loves me a little more. Am I dying a little more? Hold on, I need a sniffle. So what do you want to talk about? I don't know. What do you want Go, you, to talk You were the one that said that you wanted to talk. Ah, this is not a- this is not a twist off. It's a root beer, but it's not a twist off. I think about that. I don't know, what do you want to talk about? You're so cute when you're indecisive. I'm... Gonna need something a little stronger than root beer. No, you. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need something a little stronger than root beer. Uh -huh. Oh. Hey, boss. No personal calls during work hours. Oh. Sorry, babe, gotta go. You know the rules. Okay, why was that one voice acted and the other one wasn't what the hell oh oh shit I opened my thing back to work for the rest of the day it's a tedious job but this is my life I gotta make the money to keep the girl and you know eat and live these things are also important to sustain at least that's what I've been led to believe thank you for coming in we have your visit here has been insightful employee that's me I have a name you know whatever 
Were you being sarcastic to one of the clients right now? No, asshat. Me? Sarcasm? I would never. You'd better not be sarcastic on the job. Sarcasm is only for your off time. Understandable. Eat my ass. I'll be sarcastic at home, sir. You can count on me. That's not the voice. <laughs> oh, I need to get through the day. At the end of the day, I'm super tired. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's an apartment. Why is my phone so... Stop it. Stop it. I check my messages. There's nothing there. I get home and close my eyes. Bed is a tempting option. I stare at it longingly. The desire to sleep is pulsing through me, but of course, I get a message coming through. Interrupted again. Are you home, BB? Just got in. Oh, uh, you haven't called me yet? Just give me a sec. I'm waiting. Okay. I finally make myself something to eat. Does this phone ever stop? Who's dude? Let that one go to hey, voicemail. Can't believe you didn't pick up. You flicking on us again? Anyway, we're going out tomorrow after work. Be there. Just say so check the message, I get a call. Oh. Okay. Hey, babe. I didn't hear from you again. I didn't know you were supposed to. Of course. I miss you, and I get suspicious if I don't know what you're doing. Red flag! Red flag! Red flags! Red flags! Okay. Anyway, I haven't eaten and I have to wake up early tomorrow. And... Come over. What? I want to see you. Come over? Oh, uh... Shit, what's gonna happen, though? You mean it? Okay. Uh, who needs to eat, right? Certainly not this player character. Oh, hi, mama! I eat her ass. I'm not really sure what to expect. This seems normal, right? Not like the decor completely creeps me out. I'm probably only creeped out on a scale of mm, 2 out of 10. Well, she has a pet spider hidden somewhere. Hey. Uh, you don't happen to have a giant tarantula that you keep as a pet, right? No, why? No reason. Did you bring your hair? Well, it was hard not to. <laughs> You're so silly. <sighs> I'm not trying to be silly, but I'll okay. take it. Let me pick the one that I want. Oh, you're just gonna... Uh, I should make sure she takes hair from the back. I want this lock from above your eye. I'm gonna ruin this guy's life. I'm gonna ruin this guy's life for this woman. Not ideal, but maybe this will get me somewhere with her. She snips it, and I just know that it's all lopsided up front now. Force myself not to think of that. At least I can get... At least until I can despair in front of a mirror. Gmail unlocked. Hair of the day. Do you want to watch something? I just kind of want to fall asleep. Don't be like that. I still haven't gotten your hair. And I thought I could give you a manicure. Um. Schmidt, this is not what I had in mind when I agreed to come over. Manicures? Oh, of course. I've been wanting to get a good look at your fingers. Oh? It isn't as strange as it sounds, right? I sit down and she yanks my fingers out. I don't know why more men don't get manicures. It's so much more than just the nails. Though the nails are important. What happens when I get your love to 100? And your hands look dry from working so hard every day. Working man hands. You know how it is, baby. You know how it is. Ah. I guess she doesn't need to know that I work in an office. Wait, was that my... Of course not. That was really suspicious. I have no idea how a manicure works, though. I thought she was supposed to be focused on the nails. Surely she isn't keeping my nails. Ouch, though. She cuts some skin as well. Probably wasn't intentional, though, right? She's a sweetheart, deep down. I get to work the next day very tired. You. What? Me! Yes, you. What'd I do this time? You look like crap. Do I? What's draining you? If it's those darn podcasts again. Listen, Distractable is great and everyone should listen to it. No, nothing like that. Actually, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> cool, way to way to hurt a man. Way to hurt a man's ego. Oh boy. Don't 
joke with me like this so early in the morning. <laughs> it's rude. I remember that I have the guys thing today. All right, girlfriend, you're probably not gonna like this, but I gotta see the boys. Should I tell the girlfriend that I'm meeting up with the guys? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm gonna save though. I'm gonna save. Yes, I will. I'll tell her. Better that she knows where I am. And then, she might like you, for being honest. I'll contact her when I'm on break. That way I don't get yelled at by the boss. Oh. I okay. I was worried you weren't going to contact me today. I don't... Do people say contact like this? Of course I was. That was always the plan. If I don't, you're going to take more of my skin. And then tell you I won't be able to see you later. What? Why? My dudes are doing something. Are they? But what about me? And who are these dudes? And why are they yours? My buds. I mean, that's cool, right? I can see them. And I feel like I should ask permission. Red flags! Red flags! <laughs> no. Um, what? I just can't handle that. I don't want to lose you. You're gonna lose me. I lost my last boyfriend. He died horribly while out with friends. He fell down a cliff. Broke every bone in his body. Well, we're not going anywhere near a cliff. You can't promise me that. You'll do whatever your friends tell you to do. I won't, I promise. You have no idea what it was like. I had to carry his dead body all the way up the mountain to the sacrificial pyre. Say what now? Say psych. Say psych right now. Anyway, you don't need to worry. You can't tell me that. Oh, bah! But you can tell me not to hang out with my friends? This is hypocritical. I'm like, mm. Of course I'm gonna worry. Bah! <laughs> I will make sure I'm safe. The only way to make sure that you're safe is if you don't go. <laughs> I'm going. I'm saving. Also, it's New Year's Eve and I'm playing this. I'm going. My buds will be angry if I bail. I haven't seen them that often. I need to make some time for them. Is that how you're going to treat me? I can't believe you. It's like you don't even care about me. We're done. I cannot even find the words to defend myself. Wait, babe. Don't you babe me. You're picking them instead of me. Oh, I lost a big titty goth, GF. Oh, hold on. Wait. Let's load. Yeah, yeah. All right, I won't go. Should be the sigh of relief. I hope I made the right choice. I go back to work feeling entirely defeated. Should I have said yes to her? Guys are going to be annoyed at me. I don't know what else to do. I should probably dump me if I don't make her happy. It's not worth that risk, is it? Oh. Slacking, slacking off on the job. Off on oh the yeah, job you can again, speak. Are we? You slacking off too, sir? No. You said we. You know what I meant. We can be a we if you want us to. Went slacking off. I'm on break. Can do. I thought I was on break. Can't stop thinking that this has to be worth it. I have a hot girlfriend now, so sacrifices need to be made. But you're losing your life in the process. Shut up, mind. I go home. Stop talking to me, phone. I'm so glad you made it. Oh, I just went right to her house. Of course. I was feeling tired. I don't know what is so exhausting. I mean, I have a girlfriend now. I should be happy, right? There's something I meant to ask you, baby. What is that? Oh boy, here it comes. She wants to ask if we can go to the next level. I just feel it. Nah, she's gonna ask for your toenails. Can I have? 30 centiliters of your <laughs> That's not toenails! That's not toenails! <laughs> this is second base! I don't even know anymore. Um, maybe I should ask her what's, what it's for. I'm sure she has a good reason. We're about to save. We're about to save. We're about to save. 
So if I do this, I get a kiss in return, right? She laughs. And then she blows me a kiss. That wasn't what I meant. Oh, this is all I'm getting. She always around me with a needle that she pulls out of thin air. It's kind of like a horror movie. Or a sexy horror movie. One of the two. I'm a little bit squeamish. I'll be gentle. Oh, don't give me that face. I close my eyes. And when the needle goes in, I scream a little bit. Two men locked. Bloody Sunday. Is it sterile? I've only used it on myself before. So it's not! So it's not sterile! And don't you want to share everything with me? Not particularly any blood-borne pathogens! It's obvious what you want me to answer here. Of course I do. I want you to be as close to me as possible at all times. Please do not inject my blood into your body. Please. She may be possessive, but she's also really, really hot. An even trade-off, right? Some rest makes me feel a little bit better. Go to work, very tired yet again. Going through the motions. You! Me! Yes, you! What did I do this time? Okay, apparently he's not voice acted right now. Did you forget the presentation today? I almost have a heart attack on the spot. The presentation? You're not yourselves these days, sport. Since when does he call me sport? You must really feel sorry for me. The way I'm feeling, I feel sorry for me too. We're almost at full love. No, keep it on. We gotta get that love. I stare at the person in front of me. Barely registering they're there. Oh, this is the boss. Why is the boss on my screen? Is that Photoshop? That's weird. My phone vibrates again. Oh God. Pick up. Oh God. The girl likes you a little bit more. You know I can't talk at work. So this, this will only take a second. A second is all it would take to get caught. Don't be a baby. I'm hyperventilating just a little bit. Oh, oh. I quickly shut my phone and put it away. You. Me, sir. You know who you are. What have I said about personal calls? You don't like them. I don't like them during work hours. Oh. I'm not a heartless bastard, employee. But unless your mother is on her deathbed, no personal calls. So will you make sure you switch off your phone for the rest of the day? Of course I will. That was close. Am I going to turn my phone off? Ah, I hate it. Oh, keep it on. Some work done before too long. I'm hearing familiar sound. I try to ignore it, but messages start. Oh God, I miss you. What are you doing? You ignore me, baby. Is there someone else? Who is the slut? At work. No excuse. I will call when I can. You'd better. Employee. I'm not taking a call. I'm texting. What did I say about being on your phone when working? Thought you turn that off. Well, I. No excuses. You're fired. You're kidding, aren't you? Why would I kid about you being fired? Clean out your desk and go home. Huh. You weren't that good at your job the last couple of days, anyway. Oh, the truth hurts. I'm tired after everything. You know I'm free up now. No more excuses to be as tired. Guess I'm going to the girlfriend's house. I think I'd already promised that. Besides, what do I really have in my life right now? The dudes are mad at me. The boss is angry at me. Is it just angry when you're literally fired? I don't know, but I'm feeling a little lost. I have a long shower. That doesn't make me feel better. And then I go to her place. You've arrived. Okay, GPS. She seems overly happy. That I have. She knows I got fired, right? Now we can spend all day, every day, together. Yay? But all day? Don't you work or study or something? Nothing is more important than my burrito. She pokes me. Somehow doesn't feel like she's joking. I like her company though, right? Every day of my life. Clearly sounds like bliss, although I can't get my facial features to show it. I expected you to be more ecstatic. I'm working on that. I'm just tired, babe. You'll feel much better soon. Crunchy, crunchy floors. How about 
I give you a back rub. Hmm, that sounds good. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought you the coolest piercing for your ear. You might have to give up a little bit of ear flesh, but it looks killer, I promise. Uh, my ears aren't pierced. Oh, that's easily fixed. I was thinking for a while of how great you'd look with something in your ear. Well, she really loves me. She l really loves me, everybody. So what's a piercing? And I'll get to keep the leftovers. <laughs> leftovers? Besides, do you really think we could go out together with your normie looks? Okay, I'm getting gothified. I don't know if she means that as an insult, but I'm not going to let her get the best of me. I guess I could look more badass. That's the spirit. Now, hold still. Ah! Thought I'd be more turned on when she requested that of me. Turns out I'm going to get punctured again. So my girlfriend's really talented, though. She's got lots of tools and things. She knows how to put them to good use. I guess I can be a guinea pig for her. Yeah, ow, ouch. I thought I had a pain, high pain threshold, but this is ridiculous. I feel like... Yeah, that was me. I vomit all over the floor. I inspect slowly my vision hazy. Is that my skin on the floor? I feel dizzy, and before I know it, I'm hitting the puddle of vomit with my face. Waking up again was not pretty. I was not even cleaned off. And even though it's late, I managed to get home. This day makes me feel like I ran a marathon. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I get up early for work, and then I realize I have no work. My buzzer kind of annoyed at me, but I have no choice anyway. I promised the day to her. Can't go back on that. She'd kill me. I'm not even sure that's figurative anymore. Took my girlfriend to the fair today. Spent A7 on the Midway games before I finally won a stuffed animal for her. Couldn't really afford to spend that much, but she begged and begged me. It seemed like it made her happy. Now we're back at her house. I wonder what we'll do for the rest of the evening. As I go to exit the car, she grabs my hand. You're going to let me out of the car, right? That's how a gentleman treats a lady. Of course, my story. My infernal prince. I get out of the car and walk around the passenger side. I open the car door with one hand and extend the other to my girlfriend to sister out of her seat. She takes it. We've held hands twice today. Suddenly she loses her balance. She pins my hand against the door frame. She centers herself, grabs the door itself to get upright. Slams it hard against my fingers. The pain is excruciating. Tip my lock. Lending a hand. Oh, I almost fell there. You need to be a stronger gentleman next time. Am I even gonna get laid? I will be. Do you promise? I promise. No. Okay then. No harm, no foul. She almost looks like she's blushing. You seem to like holding my hand before. Oh, please don't grab my broken one. Oh, you grab the broken one. I can't sleep. The room is creepy. And I'm in pain. This is my life now. I feel sick. There's a cramp in my side. If I call my dude, he's just gonna laugh at me. And tell me to break up with my goth girlfriend. He really doesn't understand. No. No choice I have is to stick this out. I mean, it can't get any worse, can it? Oh, Red flags, red flags, red flags! <laughs> I've been looking forward to seeing my girlfriend all day. I lost my fingers. I lost my job. If I lost her, I don't know what I would do. Hi. Hey, lady. Come on in. I was just making dinner. Oh my god, if it's if I'm dinner. Even her doorway smells warm and fragrant. It smells delicious. What is it? It's an old recipe of my grandmother's. Wait, why does she love me less? You were at 150, weren't you? I need your help. Crap. I'm really sorry, but I'm a terrible cook. Oh, that's okay. I don't need to do any cooking. Huh? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Hey, your kidney. Hey, yo! I don't know about that. I'm not sure if I'm ready to go under the knife again. But this girl's mad hot. Don't worry, you only need one of them anyway. Would you rather keep the right one or the left one? I'd rather keep the right one. I want to see what happens. So that's how it's gonna be. You want to make my grandmother's recipe? Uh oh, here it comes. You're so selfish. What's wrong with you? Get out. Get out. Get out! What's wrong with me? Brain's telling me to run. At least I'm sure that's my brain. But then she lunges. I loved you. You promised me your life. Hey, yo, I don't, I don't think I proposed. Famous last words. There'll be no future. I think I'm gonna value my life a little bit more than our relationship. Sorry about that. You don't deserve me. 
Probably right. Found something valuable that I had all along. My life, my sanity, my social life, my organs. All good things. Oh, give her a piece of your mind. I've been giving everything in this relationship. I'm blind to her holding the knife. You're not giving back. How am I supposed to work with that? Give back what? Typical man. How am I supposed to even trust you? You deserve to die like all the others. Okay, yeah, probably shouldn't have confronted her with a knife. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe having a hot goth girlfriend wasn't always cracked up to be. Okay, um... Execution could have been better. Okay, hold on. Alright, let's give her the right left one. I'm wincing already, but I know this is going to be worth it. Marissa put me under this time. She invites me to take out my shirt and my belly down on the table. You can squeeze it if you feel any pain, okay? Yeah. She's been unlocked. It takes two. After a lot of problems, I hasn't really tried this stew. I taste delicious. I have become numb to the pain. It's okay. She's enough. It doesn't take long before our next request. I now feel this is serious enough. Show me that you're serious about me. I would love if you could take that extra step to commit to me for life. I'm excited for our future together, but I'm doubtful. What is it? What can I do to help you feel better? God, she wants my heart. So you really love me with all your heart? I want to give you my heart, but I won't know you really love me until I know I have yours. Come here to the table. I want to expect you. I need to turn that down. Oh. I had my chance to back out. Now I have no choice but to be all in. It sounds like the fucking... The Haunted Mansion from Mario. <laughs> my heart is beating so hard it might jump out of my chest and into your hand all by itself. Having the heart. That was it? That was it? No, go back. Wait. Was that it? Was that it? That was the ending? Okay, well I guess that was Big Titty Goth Girlfriend, A Tale of Romance. I really thought... I really thought... That there was gonna be more. I really thought that there was gonna be more. Okay, first of all, that was hella abusive. That was not what I was expecting. That was hella abusive. There were- oh, that was terrible. Um, if you want to play this game for yourself, there will be a link in the description below, but... Ooh! Not what I thought it was gonna be... At all. Ish. Yeah, don't give people your kidneys. Or your heart. Or your skin. Or your blood. Hair? Kind of weird in some ways, but I'm like, I, I get that one a little more. As soon as they start asking for fleshy bits, ah, eh, ah, eh, nah, ah. Eh. Um. So, thank you everybody so much for watching this one and done. Uh, really thought that this was gonna be a a, a sexier game. <laughs> I went into this thinking that this was gonna have nudity and I was gonna be censoring the game and it turned out to be a fucking trauma Oh, it's a, a half an hour in okay. I'll see all of you in the next video peace